19 drivers, one prize, one million dollars here for season two of the MFN PRA Holiday Inn Cup Series for the Holiday Inn All-Star Race. These guys worked very hard to get to this point. And now let's see. Chris Summers finished second in the showdown. Robert Band finished first in the showdown. Those two drivers qualified their way in. The two drivers with the fan vote. It, uh, once again, it was a tie. John Dillon... Uh, again, has had had uh, one of the most votes anyway. He was tied with 16 votes, along with Sean Galligan. Those two drivers are in the All Star race from voting, and no problems. And we might have a quick time to go through the starting lineup. Alex Filter and Timmy Pacioli on row one. Matt McMurray, Core Williams, Brian Lafleur Jr., Stephen Ellis, Angel Hernandez, Connor Breton. Sean Galligan, uh, Arnold Columbia, John Dillon, uh, Bubba Fitzpatrick, C.J. Sorensen, Robert Bam, Ralph Green, and we're ba and we're green at the Pigs Cliff Super Speedway, and that wasn't the full lineup. <laughs> but anyway, Alex Filter, but look at Matt McMurray there with a big run. Anyway, I'm Steve Moore again, alongside C.J. Dolan back. You never introduced me. How mean of you. <laughs> if you watch the showdown, you know who's commentating. But I mean, if you didn't, then... <laughs> <laughs> well, all these drivers aren't going to watch the <laughs> all-star race to see what they did wrong or what they did right. Mostly what they did wrong. But no, I'm just kidding there. But uh, here comes the fan vote drivers. Sean Galligan and John Dillon. To the inside of Hernandez. Whoa, whoa! Beating it, banging the hard nose, Sean Galligan! Flipping all and, the way and the champion Hernandez are wrecked! I was just about to say how Galligan was making a hard charge up there. And. John, what are you doing? Move. <laughs> oh! Sure, what John Dillon was doing there. Did he get shoved by CJ Sorensen? I'm not sure. Mm, I can't really tell. Might have just got a little loose there. That's what it looked like. I thought they were going to save it. I thought Sean would have saved it. I'm not saying that he should have, but uh, where's the leader? What's Matt doing? Pit stops? Trying to make it to the end. Oh, guess and go for Matt McMurray. Hmm. Interesting. So who's going to be out front now? Oh, oh, CJ Sorensen. What are you? <laughs> Those two are very good friends. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Matt. And there's your leader. <laughs> And uh, John Dillon just, just apologized to Sean Galligan over the radio, and uh, and I can understand what uh, what John's going through now. I just wrecked one of my best friends. Maybe it was payback from the when the Castro Cup Series was running from Texas when Sean wrecked John. No, I'm just kidding. But everyone's trying to race so hard to win a million dollars, and you get loose sometimes. And just, it happens. And we're back green. There's the last place starter, Brendan McDowell, going for the lead. He's had a great season, this guy. And there's Matt McMurray with fresh tires coming to the front. Yeah, already CJ Sorensen as well. There, there's, a super, there's one of the Super Speedway winners this season, Diego Espina. He won at Talladega. Where's another one? Donald Murray, Daytona. Timmy Pacioli won at Verlandring. And John Dillon. Oh, God, he's getting close again. Oh, it's close. He almost bumped McDowell. Here they come down the front stretch. McDowell's your leader. Going hard here. And McDowell won the eight bowl race. 
And you see McDowell, here comes Ralph, no, that's Matt McMurray on those fresh tires. Or actually, I don't think he even has fresh tires. I think it was just a gas and go there. Fresh gas then? Could have been. What's CJ Sorensen doing? Maybe taking tires. I'm not sure, really. This could be pit strategy. Could all be pit strategy. We're, that's really good. This is just like the showdown. Very confusing. It could be pit strategy. You took fuel the last one, but now you took the tires the other way around. The eight bowl winner, Brendan McDowell, is leading here at the Picks Cliff Super Speedway. Second is Matt McMurray. Third, John Dillon, or was John Dillon, now it's Stephen Ellis. Stephen Ellis could win this race. That would be a bit surprising. Uh, no, sorry, that's Corey Williams, guys. He uh, he won at Walt Disney World. So that's how he got in this race. We don't have many rookies in this field, but we do. Oh, there's a car on the wall. I think that's Donald Murray. Sure was. What the heck was he doing? I'm not sure. Oh. I saw that too. I'm not sure who that was. Matt McMurray, I think it was. It was. So I guess he's taking tires as well. Huh. Interesting. It's been a very weird race so far. And it looks like all, only those who are pitting, if they're working together with some fuel strategy. Ah, now there. There's a guy, Connor Breton, that has a, that has a few drivers mad at him. Suspension. Oh, oh! Four wide after the wall. Four men. Robert Ben and Brian LaFleur Jr., teammates. Robert Ben won the showdown. And whoa, man, they're still making contact. LaFleur has a few rivalries over in the FedEx Cup Series. <laughs> and there's Murray. Wow. <laughs> that was a quick comeback. And Timmy Pacioli, who was the points leader, but he got taken over by his brother. Bubba Fitzpatrick, but Timmy Pacioli having a spectacular season so far. He won his first career race at Burlingame. Here he is in third, right behind Diego Ospina. And Chris Summers, I took just mentioned that. He uh, got the hood back on the 21 car, and he's racing again, and he's got the lead. Here comes Ospina to the inside. Well, next week... We'll join you for the Coke 600 at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And, oh, beating a bang and arrow, speed and Ellis, and Summer's coming back. Anyway, uh, yes, we will be heading back to the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Connor Breton won the race last season. And we'll see who wins it this season. But Donald Murray taking the lead. And from four behind him. Look at this. LaFleur again making some aggressive moves. Points leader it's Fitzpatrick. Bad. Just leading earlier. He's now back there. Maybe just trying to stay out of trouble, but back here is probably where the trouble is when you're around Brian LaFleur Jr. anyway. Connor Breeden, so. These two are on strategy, and they're very good friends, so. Oh, Murray. Maybe taking a pit stop? No, I'm sorry. I thought we were going to the right hander. But Stephen Ellis has the lead, and we are going to be halfway through the race. Whoa, Ralph Green and Donald Murray. Oh, they did make contact. They almost wrecked each other. That helped Murray. Murray to the lead. Watch that seven. He's gonna, he's gonna cause a wreck if he's not careful. And there's Brendan McDowell. We will. He's coming. He's going for the lead. And he takes it once again. No cars coming off for pit stops yet. John Dillon, one of the fan vote winners, and wrecked the uh, his fellow fan vote winner, Sean Galligan. Brendan McDowell yeah. has the lead, and see, things have settled down a little bit. Here comes Connor Breton, though, and things don't settle down when he's around this season. There's a lot of drivers mad at him. From Cam Valley, from Richmond, maybe Point Matt McMurray. Cam Valley. Richmond, he wrecked Connor, uh, Matt McMurray on the last lap. There's Arnold from the Columbia, lead. I believe. Yep, that's Arnold Columbia, the Ricky Raceway winner. Whoa, 
And Ricky Columbia, uh, the only car left at Ricky Raceway. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, there goes pit strategy. Oh, John, oh, John Dillon just got turned off the racetrack. Ooh. They're pinning. Oh, he's got damage. And that's a glitch. You can see all the cars flying in the air, that's a glitch. McDowell, Robert Benn, Connor Breton, Ralph Green, Timmy Pacioli, Stephen Ellis, Diego Espina, Bubba Fitzpatrick. Stay on the racetrack. We can't we won't get a good view on what happened to John Dillon, but it looked like he might have got turned by Fitzpatrick. Those two guys are in good shape, I think. Um, but they might have to make one more stop. Seven laps, you know, eight, maybe eight. Seven or eight laps to go, something like that. Now, if you can conserve enough fuel, then they'll be in bad shape if these, if these guys can conserve. With Breed and McDowell, all those guys, if they can conserve. Pacioli, all those guys. They but they might, yeah, here there goes McDowell. And the, oh, Robert Bay just wrecked Ooh. Timmy Pacioli! Big stack up! Robert Ben just wrecked the 22! We have a caution? Caution! Yes, that. Let's see, what the started. heck were you thinking? The showdown winner... Oh, did, he hit a bump on pit road. He just, just slid up the race check. There's Steven Ellis, Ralph Green getting, take, getting caught up as well. It looked back like that little hill when he hit on pit road slid him up the track in the Pacioli. So who will be your leader? Oh, what's a Donald Murray? Look at look at this. That, that thing is that's maybe the worst engine blow I've seen in a while. Look at the damage on him too, though. Did he? Did something happen to him on pit road? Oh, whoa! He may have ran into John Dillon. Oh yeah! He, oh my God! Dillon said airborne on pit road. Oh wow! Slow speeds on pit road, you can still go airborne. What's this? Oh, God. That almost looked glitchy there, but that's what happened. Okay. So that might be your leader, or maybe the two guys in front of him, or Arnold Columbia. We'll yeah, have to see. Columbia, I think. No, Chris Summers, maybe. Huh? No, Connor Breton. Oh, this is confusing. <laughs> It's just hard finding the leader, especially on this big track. Oh, God! Accident. Oh, yeah, Alex Filter. Guys taken out from that. Pacioli, Murray, John Dillon. And uh, along with Hernandez, who can't run up to minimum speed. And Alex Filter got uh, caught up in that, I believe, as well. I'm not really sure what happened to Filter. Anything could happen. But, uh... I think it's gonna get crazy. Maybe not as crazy as we saw the four wide before, but maybe more than that. But it's gonna get nuts here. This guy's gonna make it crazy. Oh, what's going on? What did what's Brandon McDowell doing? Maybe saving some gas. That's a good strategy, and Bregan is trying to. Oh, Bregan's on pit road. road. Oh, That's God. what he was doing. He was pitting. He got way ahead of the pace. Huh. So maybe McDowell's just backing off. I don't know, maybe Breton didn't pit. I don't remember. But the, uh, I don't know what that sponsor is on that race car. Looks like Hellman's. Drive Reply. Drive Reply, I'm not sure what that is, but mostly Red Lion Oil sponsors this 81 car. Well, he's giving Hellman's. <laughs> but Caleb Radio, oh gosh, we're back green. Here we go. Two of the best drivers this season are out in front. Brendan McDowell, Bubba Fitzpatrick. Summers is on. Steven Ellis is on. There's McMurray, I think, right there. See him at the end of that tail end of the pack, I believe. That's Why is him. CJ Sorensen three laps down? Something oh, must wow. have happened to him. He was working with McMurray, and McMurray's still on the track, I believe. Oh, um, we're hearing that CJ Sorensen, and we're waiting for the rest of the report to come in. Oh, he had a sway bar problem. Oh, wow. what a shame for CJ. Bubba Fitzpatrick to the lead. Here comes Arnold Columbia. Brian LaFleur Jr. Look at all these rookies up here. Very few rookies in this field. Three of them are up. Make that four of them. 
up front. Don't well, ask me. Uh, who's in the tail end? He might be at the safest place right now. Matt McMurray. <laughs> He's in good shape too. You see Corey yeah, Williams. There's Fitzpatrick. Brandon McDowell. I, I I don't think you would call Brandon McDowell a rookie the way he's performing this season. And we're coming to the white flag. God, where have I been? We're coming to the white flag. Brandon McDowell. Well, I don't know. This well, isn't the shame. Obviously, the draft back there with McMurray. And now they're going to look into Fitzpatrick there. Look, McMurray trying to get under Columbia. Can't do it. Brandon McDowell's leading. Fitzpatrick's going to have a, at least oh, one gosh. more shot at him. Oh, Columbia, God, Columbia really fell off there. Here comes Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick's right there. White flag is out. This race is official. Fitzpatrick to the inside. He's got it. Here they go. Now Matt McMurray's coming. And with the flair. McMurray, here he comes. No, now, now, get now we're entering the white right hand. Now That's not good. Oh, Fitzpatrick ran out of oh, oh, no. Oh, no. McMurray to the lead for the, the second lead. year in a row. Unbelievable. McMurray's going to win. A Fitzpatrick game. runs out of fuel. And Columbia's about to run out of fuel. Come, and here we go, entering the final corners. McDowell might have a run at him. Here he comes. Brandon McDowell. Where the flag might get the win Look at Ospina there with the 88 car. He's got a shot. It's going to be a moment finish. McMurray, here comes Diego Ospina! Ospina! Brendan McDowell wins the All-Star Race! Caution's out! Caution is out, but Brendan McDowell has won the All-Star Race! What a finish! Matt but McMurray almost... Almost... Oh. Almost defended his All-Star Championship of last season. What a run Brendan McDowell got! I don't know where that run came from. Murray thought he had it maybe two years in a row for the All-Star Race. Look at Ospina almost had it. And yeah, look, they were touching at the line. Look at that photo finish. Three wide. That's as good as it gets right there. As okay. good as it gets. That's as good as it gets. Three wide. I tell you, the only one that you'll remember winning the, uh, you'll remember from this race is Brendan McDowell. You don't remember second place. You remember who won, who won the race. Second place gets nothing. It's all about who won. And Brendan McDowell gets a million dollars and five extra points. Great run, job. Great race. And we the line. And from Fitzpatrick running out of fuel. To the three wide finish. The drama just all poured out on the final lap. Man, <laughs> I think there will be some controversy after this race. But 19 drivers, one prize, and Brendan McDowell was the one driver that got the prize. This guy is proving himself so greatly this season. And uh, finishing second, Diego Ospina, you gotta hand it to him. He's had a bad season. Won at Talladega, almost won again here with the Real Tree Chevy. Couldn't do it. Third, Matt McMurray. Oh man, what if he could defend his All-Star Championship? Two million. Two million. Yeah, he would have another. He would have another million added to his purse. <laughs> um, you see, Corey Williams fourth. Brian LaFleur Jr. seems to know what he's doing on these nine points races. He won the Bud Shootout. Sixth, Arnold Columbia, who ran out of fuel at the line. And uh, let me just save this. Real quick, I'm gonna save this race. This is a great race. Um, seventh, Ralph Green. Eighth, Connor Breton. Ninth, Stephen Ellis. Tenth, Chris Summers. And you see Fitzpatrick. I don't know what happened with Fitzpatrick. Oh, he must have had a wreck. Yep, that's what we're getting. He wrecked uh, uh, coming onto pit road. So tough break for Fitzpatrick. 12th CJ Sorensen with the sway bar issue. And then you see the rest of the cars. He would have been up front at the finish because you see McMurray was McMurray. up there. They were working together. But the sway bar issue. What a shame for CJ. And you see Hernandez, Filter, Pacioli, Robert Band, John Dillon. 
uh, Donald Murray and Sean Galligan. Galligan um, looked like a fast car. We saw he was charging up there at the beginning and just wrecked it and he just raced hard. Right. But Brendan McDowell, congratulations to this guy. And uh, he'll be back in it for the next season. And uh, what a great, just a great season for Brendan McDowell so far. Maybe he'll win the championship. And uh, maybe, maybe, we'll have to see. McDowell's definitely uh, got it going right now. But uh, anyway, it's, I am Stephen Moore alongside CJ Dollenbach. And we will see you at the at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Coca-Cola 600 for our next points paying race and uh that's right and we'll see you then